album's called Look to the Sky. Is there anything in particular you're aiming to see when you look to the sky? I remember like as a child when you look up at the sky, you just realize like, wow, the world's so big and you're so small. And I still kind of get that feeling when I, when I do that. And um, I, think, I think that's like a good feeling. You feel like it totally changes your perspective on, on life about how <laughs> how small we are and it's very like to me it's like a, there's a lot of drama in, in, in that about realizing like your place in the world well my first time was more of like an acoustic record this is a little more varied there's some electric electric kind of rock band stuff, but there's also quiet stuff and there's, there's synthesizers, there's a little bit of pop on it. The reason why uh, you took the time you did to release the second album is basically because you're busy with other stuff? Dancing. <laughs> Dancing. I love to dance. Uh, well, that's a good activity. Thank you. <laughs> I can't do it now, but... Uh, well, uh, will you dance during the show? No. You tend not to dance at all, actually. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't dance. Um, yes. Um, uh, I've been busy. Uh, I started a recording studio in Manhattan with a couple of friends, and uh, I, I started a record label with a couple of friends. I started producing bands. And uh, then I started playing with uh, uh, A Perfect Circle. Just kind of producing, remixing, working with different artists. And then maybe three or four years ago, I started feeling motivated to start doing my own solo record again. And it just, it just took a while. lot of people working on this record. I mean, uh, I'm trying, going to try to name all of them, but it's it's hard, kind of hard. Um, um, Karen O and Nick from uh, yeah, the AAS, from the AAS, I mean. Um, Nina Pearson, uh, Nathan from Shudder to Think, and there's uh, Tom Verlaine from Television, uh, Sarah from Tegan and Sarah, mm -hmm. and uh, is there anyone else I'm forgetting? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. That was pretty good, though. Oh, good, th good, thanks. good memory. <laughs> I spent a lot of time working on the record and I recorded most of the, the music. So to me, there's not enough other people. <laughs> it, um, it doesn't sound like, it sounds like there's a lot of guests, but I, I feel like there's not enough guests because it's like whenever I hear the songs, I just hear all the stuff I did. And I, I wish I, that's the only thing when you do a solo record, it's, it's nice having a band to bounce ideas off of. Mm -hmm. And, um, that's why I, I got as many of those um, outside guests as possible. He makes this ukulele by hand. He spends about 400 days making this. So when you hear it, please clap when you hear this. You also work on a, a lot of other people's records all the time. Uh, are you the nicest guy in rock, you would say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm just a, you know, working musician in, in New York City. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see any reason not to be nice. I mean, it's like my job and I like it. Mm -hmm. And um, generally when you when you create a stressful situation, people, people don't like it. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's harder to make music that way.
Uh, just mean to ask uh, if, because uh, because of the recent uh, recent announcements of uh, recent, I mean in re recent years, in recent re in, uh, bleh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> In recent years, uh, it was announced that the Perfect Circle would be coming back. Are there any plans to, for you to join uh, the, the rest of the band again? Yes. Yes, I'm, uh, yes, I'm going to go uh, rehearse with them in a couple weeks, actually, awesome. when I get back. Next year, we're playing uh, the Soundwave Festival. It's like five or six shows in Australia. Hello. And uh, we're playing Lollapalooza Chile, mm -hmm. in Chile. and some other shows, I'm not really sure what else. Cool. 